and it is a pleasure to welcome the president of the African Physical Society, who also serves as the vice president at large of the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics. I'd like to welcome Professor Francis Alote. He's been a key leader in the promotion of physics, both within Ghana and more widely across the whole of Africa. Please welcome Francis Alote. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to speak to you today. The African Physical Society is very happy to have partnered the European Physical Society and other stakeholders, particularly the governments of Mexico, the Russian Federation, New Zealand, and Ghana in a process that resulted in the proclamation of 2015 by the United Nations as International Year of Light and Light-Based Technologies. This year, we celebrate and promote the central role of light, enhancing the many opportunities derived from the utilization of light and light-based technologies for the welfare of humankind. It will further create and increase awareness on how light-enabled technologies are being used in medicine, communication, energy, and agriculture how to deepen the understanding of our universe in the preservation of arts and cultural heritage, provision of food, environmental sustainability, climate change mitigation, as well as the pos possible impact of economic drivers of many countries. The 21st century is being driven by light and light-based technologies as 20th century were driven by electronic-based technologies. Photonic technologies have made impacts on the world economy with a current estimated value of 300 million pounds and projected market value of over 600 billion pounds by 2020. Africa as a continent Missed the industrial and economic transformation of the 18th and 19th centuries, and most of the benefits of electronic based technologies of the 20th century, because we do not have the requisite clean power. Africa cannot afford to miss the huge economic and social transformation being brought about by light and light based technologies. We therefore call on Af uh, our bright young minds and innovators of Africa to come on board with new ideas and ventures in application of light and light-based technologies. Our leaders and governments should provide the right enabling environment to make this happen, such as providing adequate funding for science, technology, mathematics, innovation, education, and also the establishment of sub-regional center of excellence in the light and light-based technologies, and the expansion of research infrastructure in these areas. In, this, in that regard, we are very happy that Africa is seriously engaged in the SK project, SKA project. Mr. Chairman, Africa has now the opportunity to participate fully in the turn-around-the-clock of development in the light and laser-based technology for the benefit of all. Thank you. <laughs> 